Welcome back to another Zero DTE video and today Ernie's going to be talking about quick exits so make sure you stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader check out the link in the description where you can find Ernie's education platform. Enjoy guys. You know what burst mode is for? It's actually called blast mode. Blast mode is if you're putting on multiple trades and you want to send them all to the market at the same time. Now, the only reason I can see for doing that, and this is what I used to use them for, is if I was putting on a peers trade, like a, a futures peers trade, and I knew that I could put on a market order and the slippage would be really small, like maybe one tick or maybe even two ticks. And I would take that into consideration on what you would call slippage. And so what I would do is I would put on both a buy and a sell for a future for two futures contracts and put them on in blast mode so at a with a market order instead of a limit order because the market order I already know what the slippage is going to be and so I take that into account so I blast them both at the same time and the reason why I blast them both at the same time is that when you're doing pairs trading you're putting them on with the difference between their notional values for a very specific reason so you want them to go on at the same time so you get that exact price minus the slippage hopefully that makes sense so that's why you would use blast mode, mostly for pairs trading market orders and putting on multiple orders on it at exactly the same time. And how would you get out fast? I guess the answer is I wouldn't use blast mode for, for getting out fast. The way you get out fast is by offering up a price that the market will take. In other words, let's say you're in your butterfly and it's valued at $10 and you're trying to get out with a credit of $10, probably not going to fill, but if you give it a value of $9.50, it would fill. That's how you get out fast. Or you don't want to do a market order because the market order will probably give you even less than 50 cents. Now, 50 cents might be an over-exaggeration. Maybe you could do it with 25 cents, a 25 cent spread, 25% below the price. But if you really want to get out and you're getting right down to the end, 50 cents would definitely get you out fast. And you might even get a better price than 50 cents. I mean, even if you put 50%, 50 cents, if there's a better price, they'll give you the better price. It's happened to me before. I'm not saying you will. I'm just saying they won't take you, advantage of you. Most of the time, I would say yes. they will take advantage of you. Yes. Yeah. But I have gotten better prices before. Right. But try getting out with a lot of contracts and see what kind of good pricing you get. The general rule is that the market makers are going to give you the worst possible price that you want. They're going to put it on the bad side of the spread. Especially when the time's running out, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Time's running out. You want to get out. You make sure because the risk is too high. So you either get out with plenty of time left or you give it a price that is guaranteed to get out. It seems it's it's more risky to, to hold the butterfly towards the last half hour before it blows. If you have the E-mini on, yeah, and you don't have enough money, sure. With the SPX, you don't care. You're going to be cash settled no matter what. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below. If there's any questions that you might have for Coach Ernie, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Thanks, guys.